All right, we are out here, and it looks like Court is the first on the board today. Let's see what he's got. What you got, buddy? I got me an Indian of unknown date. Thinner, so it's going to be newer. I, I just wiped it. You might be able to see you have younger eyes. It looks like... I think I see a four. What are you thinking? I don't know. I'm trying to get it to focus. Oops, sorry about the truck noise. Uh, I'm not real sure. We'll get it cleaned up. Maybe we'll get a date off of it. I'm just not quite seeing it right now. But cool. Nice line, buddy. Good job. 2023. Yep. Is Hey guys, Court here. I don't know if Chad's mentioned it yet or not, but we're back to the 1700s Tavern. We haven't been able to get here since the summertime when we had the one day, actually a day and a half to detect in between crops. Um, Justin and I came out for a few hours. We found a couple colonials. Chad and the guys came out the next day, and I think Chad found a 1776 half rail. I think Jeff had some luck. Uh, but between uh, a late harvest and the really cold weather we've had lately, um, this is our first chance to get back out. Down that hill, you might be able to see it in the picture right there, is a spring house. So, Zach and Chad are down there investigating that. I'm staying up here by the tavern because, you know, I'm looking at a 250-year-old tavern. I have my second find of the day. Is a little two-cent piece. I've done a little bit of cleaning on it, not much. This side where the date would be is a little rougher, and I don't want to scrape the date off it, so I'll wait until later to try and clean it at home. But, uh, yeah. Hey, man, that's something, right? I'm excited. Second two-center ever. Day is still young. It's not hatefully cold out. I'll see you on the next one. Hey, guys. Court here. <clears throat> I don't know if Chad's talked to you about it yet or not, but we're back at the two real field today. I should call it the four real field because last time Chad and I were here with Jeff, we both found a, a Spanish black on a Spanish silver. He found a Portuguese silver. So, four real field now. Anyway, most of the finds have been on the other side of that ridge down towards that tree line. That's the concentration of where stuff is. Through the trees over there was where Chad found his cap bust half dime. But that was kind of by itself. That field, the cap bus field, is off limits at the moment because it's uh, been planted with a winter crop. Through the trees on that side is still part of the cap bus field, but that's where the concentration of stuff is. So today, as hard as it is, we've walked away from the good spot down there, over there, and we're gonna go to this part of the field. We haven't been here really before. Every now and then one or two of us will break off and we'll we'll go look for stuff. We haven't found anything yet. Uh, but today we decided to give it a concentrated effort to uh, see if we can come up with a new spot. That's Chad right there. Zachary right there. Jeff has gone around and he's going to go back towards that area and look a little bit closer to the tree line where we haven't been before. So between us all bringing spread out, maybe we'll, uh, we'll come up with a new spot. See you on the first dig. Any bets on who it'll be? Hey, Jeff here. Uh, we're out at the site where uh, we found like four reals. Uh, I kind of ventured off on my own here. Uh, solid 80. Uh, it wasn't real deep, maybe two, three inches. Uh, got me a little sleigh bell or crota bell. I'm not sure either way. I got me another bell. Uh, sorry, Chad. All right, we'll see you on the next one. I didn't film my first dig. It was a, a, a modern deer slug. Chad's over there reading the text from Jeff. Jeff just sent him a picture of a curdle bell. Chad's bucket list. We've walked down this line along the trees. Haven't found anything yet. <laughs> I think Zach's going to jump into the tree line there because on the other side of that tree line is the Kappa Field. There's a creek that separates both of us. So, uh, yeah, we might go in, do a little woods hunting today. Hello everyone, Jeff again. I'm still working the same line where I found the crota bell. 
nice 89, 90-ish. And uh, dug down. It's just, I'm saying it's good. Yeah, two inches. It wasn't real far, but either way, I think we got a copper. Let's see. We'll see it together. get two hands on it here and see if I can clean it up a little bit see if it's got any details be right back all right y'all I'm back Let's see if I can get a good angle here I can't see it oh you can see the bust right there I'm pretty sure it's British but I'm not good on my British coins Chad's gonna have to chime in on that one I'm pretty sure it's British either way good copper thanks yeah, one thing I want to note, we are in the cornfield today. So, of course, obviously that gives you some challenges with metal detecting because your coil, your ability to sweep your coil is hindered by all these stalks. But the other problem, I think it's even more important for me, is with all the uh, leaf litter, the corn stalk litter that's on the ground, it's covering the ground itself. So the little signs that I look for, you know, bits of brick or broken pottery or glass or things like that, I can't see. So, honestly, we're really going to have to just swing over something to find it. won't be able to eyeball it with the stuff the way it is. But, hey, look, man, it's 44 degrees, a beautiful, sunny January day. I'll take this over uh, staying at home or going to work. Five sixty-six signal, two three inches. A little cuff button, nothing major, nothing fancy, and I just dropped it, but still a button. All right, guys, we're all separated at the moment. Chad and Court, Chad and my father over there. Uh, Justin and Jeff are that way, and I'm out here by myself. <laughs> Using days today, swung over uh, 96, 97, banging like right off the top. I already dug it because honestly, wasn't expected it to be much. I got myself a US, US large scent. First of the year. So I guess we'll see if there's anything else here. Just, just dug this. A little flat button it was a solid 12 on the equinox focus there we go it wants to have a pattern on it i can't tell how this is filming in the sunlight but there's like little dimples around the edge and i want to say there's something in the middle there but you can see it's corroding really quickly so i'm not gonna mess with it too much but the shank's broken off all right, something. This signal rang up as a nine. That's something I normally dig, but signals are quieting down out here. I've got something. I don't know what though. It feels like a coin in that it's thin. It's got some sort of marking. I don't see any sign of a shank. <clears throat> but it's too thin, too small, and rang up too low. 
about the size of a dime, but there's something on there. This mud is really sticky, so I'm gonna let that dry. And maybe back at the truck, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can come up with anything. Well, hey everyone, that's it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, we've been really fortunate this winter in that uh, it hasn't been super cold. We did have a little span of about a week where it got cold, but um, the ground is still not frozen yet, which is awesome. Um, so we're going to keep getting out in the fields as, as long as the weather cooperates um, so we can bring you some more content. So uh, we'll see you guys again next week. And as always, thanks for watching.